Hello, my friend. I'm so happy you are here. Now, this is the sixth time I'm trying to make this video. I hope it works this time. This I'm going to present you for the Game Guru Max Standalone Optimizer. And what I did in the old East Terrace was I took the Jungle Fever level and just made a standalone of it. I then renamed the standalone folder to slash uh, to Ark, the original then made a copy of it and called it Jungle Fever Optimized. That was the first option. And I did that again for different resolution, texture resolutions. And uh, just to show you uh, the difference of the quality and what you can do. So uh, let's just, uh, just uh, start the optimizer so I can show you the uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, show you the settings I used. We take the original here. Not going to start it, but uh, this is the first version, the optimized version I made. Uh, I checked the delete not needed files. It will scan for not needed files, like if you have a uh, surface texture, but also has a AO or glass roughness, metalness texture. It will just delete those. They're really not needed, so uh, you can save some space. Especially, I wanted to say that. Uh, the standalone optimizer for Mac works the best if you use custom media in your standalone. Then it's really able to optimize it both for load time and memory use. So th it's best for that. But, uh, this is caused by the all the stock asset in the Game Guru Max is already optimized. So. Uh, but uh, you can optimize them further and I will show you how. This is what I ran to get this, and if we just compare the sizes of the standalone folder, it's not really that uh, uh, lower because it's it's only around 400 megabytes you are saved. But uh, again, we can try to compare it to load times, the original with the optimized version. Let's check. We will just find the point. This is the point where the game has started and everything is loaded. And you can see here that this is the time in milliseconds. So around 39, nearly 40 seconds it took to load the original. And here we have 30 seconds to load, so it's a bit faster. And uh, memory use, we see here, is uh, this number uh, is around 8 gigabytes, and here we have uh, 7.6 gigabyte. Not exactly, but uh, yeah, well, you saved around uh, 400 megabytes, so uh, that's also something. And again, we have the checkpoint in the game where we captured some uh, screenshots. If you look at the, the original here, you can see all the details from the original media. Mainly if you look here at the hand, you can see the detail in the hand. And then uh, this is the compiled version, uh, the optimized version, where you now can see it's, uh, it's the same. There's no difference in the details anywhere. Nothing. So, uh, but again, you save some memory and the faster loading times. Then I made a 2K version where I set everything only to use 2K or the maximum of 2K textures. I ran the optimizer again and if you look at that, you can compare it here, look at the hands and the details. Well, you can't really see. Uh, you can see a little bit, but uh, well, it looks 2K looks perfectly, I think. There's not so many details you lose, and uh, I would uh, suggest you use the 2K textures because uh, they uh, look fine. And we can compare what we are saving then uh, if we use 2K textures. 2K, compare with just the size here. 
And the 2K, if we compare, we, if we are saving over 1 gigabyte in the standalone size. And we can compare it to the original here. Compare. Find the same spot where the game is loaded. And now we are down to 27 second load time. And if you look, we now saved the 1 gigabyte of memory. So that's pretty good, and uh, if you compare the results, yeah, I think it looks uh, fine. So that's the option you can use to reduce uh, memory and uh, space. Um, and then I made some comparisons. If uh, everything was uh, set to 1K textures like this, a maximum of 1K. Surely, if the textures is smaller than that, then it will not touch it. Only optimize them for load speeding. But uh, here you can see the difference from 1K to 2K. And now you can start to see that uh, we are losing details. Not as much as you should should think, but uh, you can see it. So, 2K is. Uh, the preferred one, I think. But uh, again, if you compare them, the 1K version, like so, you compare, find the same spot, everything is loaded and ready to rock. You can see here, 5, 6, so yeah, it's nearly 2 gigabyte you saved on memory. So uh, that's pretty much memory you save by reducing the textures, but uh, if you do want the quality, well, I would suggest uh, 2K, so. But uh, you can also keep lowering the resolution, if you wish, to get that kind of look. Some wish that. So you can see here, at 512 by 512 texture size, you lose all the text, all the detail, but it doesn't look uh, that bad. Even further, 120, uh, uh, 128 textures, they're pretty small, so uh, yeah, now you can really see you have zero details left compared to the original. Just look at the stones, and the hand, the gun, and the zombies here. The hands and the zombies, you can't see any details at all. But uh, even with uh, such a small uh, resolution, it looks pretty nice. If you're going for that look, and uh, you can uh, go even further down, like uh, uh, 46 uh, pixels or 32 pixels, we can try that just as a experiment to see what happens if we do that. We can just take... Uh, this version, make a copy of it, 128 size, copy, 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 what was the size of that, 1.4, rename it, should we try, yeah, we can try, 32, and see how that looks, start the optimizer, we just go to select another folder here, it's the standalone 30 th uh, 32. And, oh, well, I made the lowest option 64. So, well, we'll just make that and do, uh, do that and uh, start the optimizer. <coughs> and it's running. When you have really large textures, it could take some time, but this uh, pretty low texture sizes, so uh, it will be pretty quick. This is just to see... Uh, yeah, it's already done now. So, we can go into... and give us a try. It's uh, loading... loading, loading... Oops. So it's loading. Well, as I said, uh, stock asset, you can get some pretty nice result, 
even if you only use stock assets, but with custom media, if you use custom assets, uh, well, you can get some really nice results. Mainly on uh, load, load uh, as a uh, faster loading and uh, less memory use. Wow, look at this. This is the uh, 64 by 64 piece of textures only. There's not much detail left here, but uh, well, yeah. Let's check out the gun here. They do look uh, nice if you go for that kind of look, so uh, I'll just uh, make a Bloody screenshot. Up. Just trigger him here. Come on. Oh, oh, he's coming. Let's go over here. Well, we do the screenshots. I think it is. Uh, it's around here. I made them, and I'm going to take this one. Close it down. Oops, and go to this and compare it with the others. Just paste it. New image. And here you can really see there's no detail left. But the, well, if you're going for that look, go ahead. And just to end this video, um, you can uh, support the work I'm doing on this and. Uh, you can do that on Patreon, and you can uh, actually get the version right now and download it. And I would really appreciate it if you support the work. It means a lot to me, so... Uh, well, that's what's uh, Game Guru Max Standalone Optimizer, the first beta out. I didn't find any errors or something like that, so I think it's stable. And that you can download now and use it. So. Until next time, have a great day.